Hello, Leo. Happy new moon in Aries. Um, happy equinox. Uh, we made it to spring. We made it through winter. Um, this time of new moons is a time of new beginnings. Aries is the start of the astrological calendar and it's the it marks the beginning of, str of spring, which is a time of blossoming. So um, there are things that are coming for you. There's positive things, new things that are coming. And so um, I will be doing a card reading for you. I'm pulling from the Light Seers Tarot and from the Sacred Rebels Oracle deck. So the first card I have pulled for you is the High Priestess card. And so this is a card of just intuition and wisdom. At this time, as we're going through this new moon in Aries, um, you know, Aries is a sign of uh, leadership. Aries is a cardinal sign. Um, they like to take the initiative. They like to be assertive. They like to be in charge. Um, for Leos, you guys like to be the center of attention. And so this, and I don't mean that in a negative way, you're comfortable holding the spotlight. You're comfortable holding people's attention. Um, but with this High Priestess card, the attention that you're receiving is definitely from the universe, from your higher power, from your ascended masters. So these kind of light beads, this color that's coming down into that third eye chakra, um, you're going to be receiving a lot of downloads in this new moon cycle. So from now until the full moon, um, which is probably approximately two to three weeks, you're going to be getting a lot of downloads. And so what that means is just you'll have ideas that will come to you that like just kind of uh, vaporize out of nowhere. Um, people might say things to you and something just clicks and it sparks an idea in your mind. Um, and so with this new moon, you're coming into a new time of kind of receptivity and intuition. So there's lots of really good things that are coming for you with this new moon in Aries. Um, the next card is the Ace of Swords. And so as we see, there's this staircase and like, where is it going? Who knows? Um, how far down does it go? We don't know. It doesn't matter because there's this divine light that is calling you into this new place. So Ace of Swords is a card of beginnings. As I mentioned, a new moons are a time of beginnings. So you are coming into a new journey. You're going to get information from your guides, from your, um, you know, higher power, from your spirit. from your soul is what it feels like. I was gonna say from your spirit, but really from your soul is what feels right. Um, that there's a new journey that you're going on. There's a new adventure that you're going on. Do you know where you're going? Absolutely not. Do you see all the steps in front of you? Nope. Is there an end goal? No. But as long as you trust your intuition and listen, it will bring you down to or up to where you need to be as part of this journey. The next card that has come up for you is Page of Cups, which is really just a playful card. Like there's this little, what is this little pig? What is this? <laughs> We've got this page here um, and we can see he's sitting here and then his feet are up here. So this is like a loop that's going around, you know? Um, and there's this really playful energy. Cups represent love and the heart. And so, um, the pairing of these two together, the spiral staircase, and then the looping of this Page of Cups card, to me, feels like you're, like you're, you're starting a new journey, but it's really gonna be like an adventure. It's gonna be something that's really fun. It's gonna be something that's whimsical. Like when we look at the look on his face, he's just kind of, the breeze is blowing through his hair. He's got the, the ocean back here, and he's just kind of looking up at what, what is this little pig? I don't know. Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? But this is kind of the tone of what you're coming into, this journey that you're coming into, whether it's a relationship or a job or a move um, or just a change in mindset. But it's it's just, it feels really fun to me. Like there's a lot of like warmth and fun about it. The card that I pulled for you from the Sacred Rebels Oracle deck is um, the number five card and it's follow your own rhythm. And this journey, relationship, 
adventure that you're going on is going to be very different than anything you've ever experienced. But that number five is a number of change and freedom and rebellion. And so you are learning how to do things, how to have fun, how to express yourself in a way that feels best for you instead of in a way that gratifies whatever fulfillment you are receiving by being in the limelight before. I hope that makes sense. Um, to me, this is a very like Aquarian card. Um, Aquarius's dance to the beat of their own drum, um, but none of us can hear it because the music's in their head. And they just, they're, they pay no never mind to the fact that no one else can hear the music. It doesn't matter to them. And so this is really the space that you're coming into where you're just kind of dancing naked under the move, moonlight, just moving however feels good to your body. You're going on this, you know, you're going on this journey you're going to have fun. It's going to look, whoops, it's going to look quirky and unconventional compared to some of the other journeys that you've been on, but you know, you're being called by your higher power to follow your own rhythm. So Leo, this is your new moon card reading. Um, I'm really excited for you. I mean, who doesn't like a new journey? Who doesn't like an adventure? Um, you know, and this is a time of, um, of new beginnings, of new things, you know, with the new moon, um, that you can set the intentions for whatever it is that you want, um, and kind of plant those seeds to grow over the course of this new moon cycle. So, um, I am wishing you lots of love and positivity and health, um, and safety out in the world at this time. And so, um, please let me know what you thought of your reading and I will see you again soon. Bye.